welcome back to my channel and to something wonderfully exciting and very new for myself and for my channel. Today we are actually doing a first impressions unboxing of the Oggy Bear subscription box. So for anyone who does not know, Oggy Bear is an Australian planner subscription box. Now, each of their boxes are curated using different supplies and different planner accessories, stationery, etc., etc., that are selected by the beautiful Sarah at Oggy Bear. Um, and the boxes or the subscription for each month, they will contain items from either Australian stores, now that they've now reopened the border, not the border, now that they are now allowing, um, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to an exciting new video for my channel. Today we are going to be doing a first impressions review unboxing style video. So the unboxing video that we are doing today is actually a subscription box or subscription, monthly subscription from the gorgeous Sarah at Oggy Bear. Now, the if you guys haven't checked Sarah's store out or if you've not heard of Oggy Bear before, naturally, as per every sticker store or planner store that I use in my videos, I will link them below. I will also link Sarah's Instagram. So if you guys want to check it out, definitely go and check it out. Again, supporting small business, particularly at the moment, is always wonderful. Um, and I definitely, definitely encourage you to check out her store. Now, I was lucky enough that Sarah actually reached out for me, um, reached out for me, reached out to me to do this unboxing. If you guys haven't seen it, I do believe that Vicky at Vicky Plants has also done an unboxing of this subscription box as well, which is very exciting because not only did I just hit 300 subscribers, which I'm absolutely blown away by, um, I'm sitting here doing an unboxing um, as a result of someone reaching out to me and asking me to do that. So I'm very blown away. I'm very blessed and I feel very, very privileged to have this opportunity. So Thank you to all of you for following me and subscribing. Um, and of course, thank you to Sarah at Oggy Bear for allowing me to do this unboxing um, slash review for her. Now, she did ask that I give an honest review, um, which I guess is always a good thing because it offers the ability for constructive criticism or um, feedback that might help better the box or better the whatever it may be, the planner spread, the planner kit, whatever it is, my YouTube channel, um, <laughs> you have the opportunity to build on the feedback and make things better and enhance them and improve them for the next time around. So I'm going to get straight into it. So let me just open this first because I know that the un unboxing or opening can be a bit noisy. And yes, I totally waited. Normally I have a bit of a peek at my Happy Mail when I get in. But this one I waited so that I could do it with you guys. Okay. All right. So just before we get into what has been included, there are a couple of important things I need to let you guys know about the subscription box. So first and foremost, the subscription box goes on sale on the 30th of every month up until the 7th of the following month. So for example, the current box went on sale on the 30th of May and the sales for that particular subscription box, wow, now I have the hiccups. The sales for that subscription box end on the 7th of June and then the box will be shipped out on the 25th of June. So obviously moving into July, what do we have? 31 days in July, so the boxes, the next sub box will go on sale on the 30th of July. We'll, uh, sorry, the 30th of June. Be on sale until the 7th of July and then they'll ship out on the 25th of July. So on and so forth. So essentially you've got seven days at the end of the month and into the next month to 
you got a seven day window to get your subscription box signed up for, paid for, organized, all of that. So that is the biggest thing. And then I don't know if I already said it, but they do ship out on the 25th. So you should then have it, you would hope for Australia, you probably have it maybe by the end of the month or the first week of the following month. So kind of rotates itself that way. So on sale on the 30th, up until the 7th of the following month, shipping out the 25th of that month. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, let me know below. So let's jump into what we got. So this is how my little package came. So this is, I can't apparently center things to save my life, but you know, um, I've only been doing this for nearly two years, but you know. So this is it. So as you can see, I mean, first and foremost, my wrapping is pink beautiful i don't know if that was planned or not <laughs> but it is pink very very me as you all know i have a cute little trolley gummy lolly there i love gummy lollies so i'm already sold on this box because there is a gummy cola trolley lolly on my little pack here so that is really really cute and then you have the cute little seal there i wonder if my camera's going to focus today i don't know I have a cute little seal there that says Oggy Bear and there's a gorgeous little panda. Now, before we get into this package, let's go back over here. So you get, is this a sticker or is it, I don't know how long this video is going to go for guys because you know I, all, I love to ramble. So you get this cute little printout that says, thank you for ama your amazing support. Yes, yeah, so thank you for your amazing support of these Australian planner supplies stores follow us on our socials to never miss a beat so then you've got her Facebook link her Instagram link and her website and you've got the cute little bear I'm assuming his name is Oggy I'm not 100% sure but their little mascot or logo or whatever you'd like to call it on the front there so the first two things that you get and oh my god sarah i have not seen your subscription boxes up until today now i don't know if i'm assuming that what i'm showing you guys on camera is what goes out in the next sub box and i don't know if sarah knows me better than anyone in the world because um look at this item so you've got an acetate, you've got a piece of acetate, so it's clear with the black writing and it says need coffee all over it. So I don't know if you can, there we go. So um, if that doesn't scream my name, I don't know what else does. So beautiful piece of clear acetate there, need coffee. So obviously for anyone who uses acetate in their planners or um do your like fancy planner setups i know that i don't i feel like one day i should do it just for the hell of doing it maybe i should keep this until then um but this is really really cool you could like use this for the beginning of like your working week or your like your work section because who doesn't need coffee when they go to work um or you could just use it however you want but this is really really cool and i like that when you look at it this way it's kind of like x's i don't know if that's intentional but it just looks really cool <laughs> And then you also get, oh my God, I don't know if I'm saying, is this Bella? <laughs> I've been in the planner community for so long and I've watched, you know, Vicky plans do her TM setups and things like that. And I still feel like I don't know everything about everything, but I'm pretty sure this is vellum. And the whole idea is that you put the vellum inside of the acetate and you have your cute little, you know, so then when you open this, when you open them both up together, if I can do that you've then got your inserts inside and then they just look really fun and cute like that um so yes vellum and again i don't know if it's like a coffee theme sub box for this month or i have no idea but again you've got some cute little takeaway coffee cups there obviously the same on both sides and your vellum and vellum to me just reminds me of like a like an expensive kind of baking paper because it like i feel like you could bake something on this <laughs> and it would work but it's also obviously stronger than regular baking paper and it looks cool so that is your coffee cup vellum and again like i said 
you can pair them together and you have a perfect themed insert setup for your setup with that. Yeah. I'm not great with uh, the TN and the dashboard setups and that's what I was looking for, the dashboard setups. But maybe one day I'll get them. Okay, so into the little goodies here. I'm just going to move them to the side because there's a little bit of tissue paper there just protecting everything. And we're literally just going to work our way through everything. So this is what we have inside. I'm just going to neatly fold this tissue paper up. Keep my lolly for later. Okay, so this is the goodie bag. So first and foremost, I wanted to show you, so there's a couple of little freebies here from Pretty Planner Studio, which Sarah did let me know was coming, but there's a lot more than I expected. And oh my Lord, I am so happy. So I have this cute little vinyl decal. It is my first decal I've ever gotten. It has my name on it. It is, it looks like, and I don't know if it's a light, I mean, I'm not 100% sure if it's hollow blue or ho just hollow or like, because in the lighting, like when I'm looking at it here, I don't know if it shows on camera. So looking at it front on, it looks purple. Tilting it, it looks silver, but then there's also like a blue undertone. But it is so cute. I don't know what I'm going to put it on, but I'm going to put it on something. So cute. So I got this little vinyl decal. We also got the cute, this, so this is one of the like fashion girls or character girls from Pretty Planner Studio. She's dressed in a cute little dress, holding her toilet paper with her life. And she's wearing, of course, a little face mask. How appropriate for the times at the moment. She's absolutely gorgeous. Is she a sticker? I'm not sure if she's a sticker or if she's just a die cut. Yes, she's a sticker. So you could use her as well. And then there's another couple of little freebies here. I'm just going to put them all on my hand because it's probably going to be... I was going to put it on my left hand, but my left hand has some sort of ridiculous issue. I don't even know. So I can't even explain it to you. So then you also get these little freebies. So you've got the stay home die cut sticker. You've got the wash your hands in some bubbles there. And you've got the toilet paper. When will this crap end? Very, very topical. <laughs> very appropriate for our times at the moment. And just very, very funny. That putting a little bit of hilarity in what is a not so wonderful situation, which is great. So I really, really appreciate that from Pretty Planner Studio. And now let's jump in to the sub box itself which is very very well sealed so much so that i cannot even find where i am meant to open it there we go okay so we have so much stuff in here all right so another important thing to let you know about this subscription box so when you have purchased previously so if you decide that you wanted to try this particular box if you wanted to try next month's box following on from that when the next box is announced you will actually be sent an email invoice with your option to purchase the box for the following month so you kind of become like a vip in that regard in that you will be emailed an invoice you can obviously disregard the invoice if you don't want to get the subscription box for the next month or you can pay it You'll go on the list and your box will continue to come out. I don't know if there is a recurring option. I don't know if it's automatically recurring. I'm just having a look at her website. Okay, so you could, there's an option to do a prepay for six months. So you can do a six-month subscription um, paid in advance that will ship on the 25th of each month unless that date falls on a weekend or a public holiday it will then be shipped, the, uh, sorry, it will then be processed the next business day, so shipped the next business day. 
Um, there's almost a $10 saving on each box if you do it this way. And if you do purchase the six month subscription, you can actually choose to select whether you want a generic box or whether you want a Hoban HE Weeks box. And the total cost for six months upfront is $259. Now, I don't know. She's on Big Cartel. I don't think there's an option for Afterpay. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can find out for you. I'm just reading through. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it doesn't actually say anything about that. So... I don't think there's after pay, um, but if you didn't want to buy the upfront subscription for the six months, each monthly subscription will cost you $44.95, including tracking. And for anyone outside of Australia, you would have to add an additional $10 to that shipping cost to have it shipped out to you. And obviously, at the moment, you would need to be very patient with the shipping times because from what I understand, some of the shipping, both from America to Australia or Australia to America or Europe or wherever um, is taking, apparently they're saying can take up to three months now. So if you are deciding to buy this box and you are outside of Australia, you have to pay the extra $10 on top of the $44.95 for the sub box. And you will have to wait for the shipping to do its thing and get to you. So you'd have to have a little bit of patience there. But for anyone within Australia, $44.95, including tracked postage so you also have that option as well there's no untracked um the other thing to let you guys know about this box so there is in each subscription in each subscription box there is a minimum of 10 items from the planner stores featured so again remembering as i said at the beginning the boxes are curated using items from australian and new zealand stores and there is a minimum of 10 items in each box for $44.95. Um, I think there was mention that these, like the last couple of boxes, there has been a minimum of 14 items in each. So getting value for money there in that regard. Um, and that's in terms of like the like most important stuff to tell you guys. That is it. So I'm just going to start working my way through the little bits and pieces that we have here. So the first thing that we have in this month's box is some gorgeous confetti washi here. So this is from Washi Tape Australia. And it is a black and white. So it's like a black and white or like gray and white ombre confetti. So you've got the gold confetti there. Very, very pretty. I love like confetti. Like confetti is like my favorite type of foil. And because it's a gray and white, it's very, very neutral. So you could use it however you would like. So that was the first thing. And now I'm just going to, because there's so many different things here. Okay, so that must go with that. I'm just trying to work out so that they all stay together okay so let's go all right so the next item that we have in this subscription box is the this <laughs> this is really really pretty so this is a handmade um like paper clip uh from sweet tashi i hope i'm saying that right tashi tashi and oh it's so cute i don't have enough like paper clips decorative paper clips this is really, really cute. So you've got a cute little coffee mug there. You've got a gorgeous little gold bow. And naturally, it is on a gold paper clip to match. And it is made out of, like, felt. But it feels really sturdy. Like, it feels like this paper clip is never coming out. That is perfect for, again, perfect for a winter setup, if you haven't already done one. Very, very sweet. Very, very cute. I actually want to, like, put that on my planner now, but... I just put my planner away after filming. So you've got this cute little paper clip. The next item that we have here is from Status Paper Co. So I have purchased from Status Paper Co. before. Love their stuff, love their paper. So the first thing you get from them is, of course, their little business card. 
Um, I was going to flip it to the back because I'm so used to everyone having their socials on the back, but the socials are actually on the bottom of this one. So you've got their statuspaperco.com, statuspaperco on Instagram, and statuspaperco.vip on Facebook if you are interested in checking them out. And once again, just to reiterate, all of these stores will be linked below. And the cute little addition to this box this month is, from Status Paper Co. is this gorgeous, gorgeous little, um, I don't know his name. I feel like I need to know his name. But it's this gorgeous little bunny and it literally says here, Oggy Bear exclusive. So you cannot buy this particular sheet at Status Paper Co. You have to purchase this particular subscription box to get this sheet and it's really really cute again in line with that cozy theme so you've got the cute little coffee cup wrapped in a blanket there and it just alternates so you've got coffee cup blanket coffee cup blanket and you've got like that gray you've got like an olive green color and pink super super cute Okay, the next item we have is from a store called Hop To It. Now, this is the first time I've heard of them. So they are an Etsy store. Um, and it says here, so they're on Etsy. They can be found on Facebook using Hop To It AU or Hop To, Hop to It AU on Instagram. So if you search Hop To It AU as, an, as a handle on either Facebook or Instagram, you should find their group. There's a cute little bunny in the top corner there. Um, okay. And again, this box, like if if this was not the most appropriate time to give me this box, like it's all coffee. Winter and coffee, my two, like the two loves of my life. So like I just hinted at, this is all coffee themed. So you've got this cute little um, pug here. So at the top, you've got some like percolated coffee. Um, in some mugs you've got like a cute little barista pouring your coffee there um the pug that's holding a jug that's almost as big as her and pouring that into a cute little teacup you've got the pug in a cup with a donut in hand the little pug holding its coffee cup looking a little bit stressed and frazzled in their dressing gown You've got the takeaway coffee cups there. You've got them on the laptop with the coffee cup. You've got like a frozen coffee, frozen coffee, iced coffee, frappe or whatever you'd like to use. Some donut boxes and then another one there. And that is perfect because I literally had donuts last night. It was International Donut Day yesterday, which was the 5th of June. I'm filming today being the 6th of June. And we got some donuts for Donut Day um very very cute i love pugs my um my family actually have a pug so not living in my house here but my dad has a pug living with him and she's this color her name is bella um so yeah really really love that on to our next item there's so many just like bits and pieces so i'm just trying to make sure everything's together now this looks like a little I know that Sarah told me what was in everything. What did she say? Hop to it. Okay, so just to fill you in on what I bought. So the vellum and the acetate, so I was correct with the vellum. That is from May Paper Co. If you're interested in checking that out or you want to find some vellum or some acetate for yourself. The I'm just trying to find so it was called so the snuggly bunny sticker sheet was the one that I just showed you from Status Paper Co. And this one here is from a store called the Cuddly Turtle. So this is just a bunch of like decorative, functional type coffee related um sticker boxes. So you can see here you've got I'm hoping this is focusing because my camera's been an absolute nightmare to deal with lately. So these are all half box size. So you've got one here that says hot coffee, sweaters, cold frosts, cozy fires, warm blankets and slippers. You've then just got like a coffee box. You've got warm and funny, well, funny, warm and fuzzy stocks. I am ready for hoodies and cold nights. Again, you've got like a decorative coffee box there. You've just got a coffee on the side. You have coffee now. You have someone in their little like flannelette pajama pants and slippers. You've got like a little box here. 
coffee cup coffee cup that says but first coffee and then you've got the little cuddly turtle icon in the bottom corner there and they are on so sorry i should have said the hop to it paper is also it's like a premium matte buttery and so very very similar actually to the status paper co paper although i think status paper co is a little bit more glossy and then this one here i think might just be a matte paper i don't know if it's premium like it's soft and it's smooth but i don't know that i'd call it premium maybe regular matte i don't know but it's nice it feels nice and they're very cute so definitely getting a vibe of like warm cozy coffee for this box the next item that we have is from the lovely denise at luscious labels i actually really love this because opening all of these there's stores that i've never heard of before like with the exception of pretty planner studio and status paper co i've never heard of hop to it i've not heard of the cuddly turtle um i've not even heard of the sweet tashi i mean that may be because i don't usually buy paper clips or anything like that but it's definitely showing me that there are a lot of stores out there that i really really need to check out it is transparent oh they are okay so the next item that we have here is from denise at luscious labels so firstly, you get her business card here. So it's got her name, it's got her email, and then you've got her website as well. Luscious Labels, making you smile at the letterbox. Such a fancy feeling card. Uh, and then on the back here, so the item that we get is a matte clear sticker. And it says here, matte clear sticker info. Thank you for choosing to use our clear matte stickers. This material is very delicate and requires a gentle touch when it comes to removing them from the backing sheet. The best way to remove the sticker is to gently bend the paper back and tease up the corner of the sticker. If you have long nails or a craft knife, gently lift the edge up. Thanks for choosing luscious labels. I mean, I do that with my stickers anyway, so that's fine. And right on theme of like the coffee and winter, you have these transparent adhesive coffee stains. So this is like when you have a coffee there's been a little bit of milk or a little bit of coffee that's spilt over the side and dribbled down. You've had it sat on the table and you lift the table up or you've had it sat on some paper or something like that and it leaves this little like ring of coffee. So that's what that is and it's in like a neutral palette. So you've got like your greys, your pinks, your browns. This is very cool because um, I'm pretty sure depending on when I use a kit that's these colours, I wish I would have opened this before I filmed what I just filmed. Because I think I might use this to mark in Coffee Monday in one of my next spreads. So stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes peeled for that. But these are really, really cute. And you have the, the bigger ones here. So you've got your big ones. And you've got some miniature. And you have some of your medium-sized coffee rings as well. So they are actually really, really fun. I feel like I need to go and check out Luscious Labels. Because it's been a while since I've ordered from Denise. And I feel like I need to go and check what's on offer that I may have missed recently. The next item we have is from Lime and Mortar. So I know of Lime and Mortar. I have bought from Lime and Mortar before. And again, we just have this gorgeous little coffee sampler. So all in those browns and like, I, I was going to say shades of brown, but I just said brown. So then I was going to say like shades of coffee. And I'm like, what is a shade of coffee? Like coffee is a shade of brown, <laughs> depending on how much milk or you put in it or don't put in it. So you've just got a bunch of different functional type items. So you've got a, the little like um, thirds box there with the washi tape on the side. You've got a happy mailbox, payday, page flag. You've got a public holiday, quarter box with a little coffee bean. You've got a brown habit tracker. You've got one of those little like hobo sized post-it notes. You've got some of the decorative coffee rings and coffee splashes, coffee beans. You've got coffee and you have this cute little coffee cup. That is really cute. I'm really, really digging these like coffee splashes and spills. They look really, really cool. I feel like I need to go and find like some exclusive coffee art now and like just use all of this stuff. It is amazing. All right. The next item that we have here 
left. I'm really, I'm waiting on my husband to get home with my lunch. I'm so hungry. It is almost three o'clock. So like I'm saying lunch, but really by the time he gets his slow bot home. Whoa, I just spilled stuff everywhere. All right, hang on. Let me gather that. <laughs> Luckily, my bin caught what flew out. <laughs> Okay, so the next item that we have is from the Coral Collective. Um, you've got the Etsy store there, the Instagram handle there, and we got a couple of things here. So firstly, we got this cute little freebie. So you've got your little planner there with your little pen and your tassel. I, yep, they're a sticker. I was going to say, I don't know if it's a sticker. And then as soon as I turned it around, I realized it was a sticker. Now, these are all on like a just a standard matte paper. I recognize the paper because it's the same paper that uh, Maya at Sticker Thief uses. Really nice paper, though. Really nice to work with. Um, and the foil comes up on it really nicely. So that is that guy. And then you also get... The cute little coffee cup as well and if you can't already tell you've got that gold foil beautiful detail there just to give it a little something special and then from what you can see we get an entire sheet of like winter decorative coffee type art clip art um, all with that beautiful gold detail which apparently only shows if I hold the paper like this so you'll see all that gold detail so you've got a little coffee cup there, you've got a flower, another coffee cup. You've got some decorative like leaves. So it's all like mm, coffee cup slippers. It's all like that really wintry, floral, neutral, very, very pretty colorway. I've seen this art used by, why am I having a blank? Planner face. I actually have a sticker album that I have not used using that art that's very very pretty like again i just want to go and use these as like coffee monday and just use these to mark coffee monday for the rest of winter so pretty and like i said it's like that premium not premium sorry standard matte paper which lifts off the page so easily it's so nicely no issues there at all it's so pretty i love it's like gray and like navy blue and just so pretty i'm really really loving this there's so many things here and so many stores like i said that i've never heard of before that i'm now going to go and check out i don't have any money at the moment <laughs> but when i get paid <laughs> i can definitely have a look and see if i'd like to buy any of these things Okay, now we have another little pretty pack of die cuts here. So I think if I'm correct, these little die cuts, so they're adhesive and they're from Emily and, sorry, Emmy and Leonie. They... are they adhesive oh yeah they are they felt so like on first touch they feel like cardboard so i was like these are die cuts but they're not stickers <laughs> but i was incorrect so all of these little beauties are from emmy and leone so they are all adhesive die cut stickers is that in focus probably not because my camera hates me so let's go through them one by one. I'm just going to leave my hand here like that because I don't think my camera ever wants to focus. Are you focused? Okay. So again, we have this beautiful wintry floral vibe going on through these die cuts. So this is the first one here. You've got a little floral paper clip. You have a little decorative planner bow charm. I feel like I have to tap and focus this every time. Which is very pretty with the little snowflakes on the bottom there. 
you have a beautiful winter rose see what i mean about the colors like they're that navy blue and gray and pink very pretty it was hurting my arm to hold it there <laughs> we have this cute little open planner um set on its dashboard that says let it snow so you've got like a little what looks like a pen gems pen here you've got a cute little paper clip you've got some washi strips some page flags your decorative dashboard your charm your paper clip very very cute this is really cute so you've got a cute little snow globe there so you've got like a little cabin in the woods you've got like a little white arctic wolf there and some snow covered cedar trees or pine trees perhaps are they this is that the same thing is pine and cedar the same thing i don't know you have this gorgeous 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 little winter themed mug so you've got just those like wintry like cardigan sweater type patterns with some reindeer very sweet and then the last one that we have here is this beautiful little planner cup so again you've got that winter floral pattern on the bottom there you've got some pens and pencils and you've got some scissors just the ultimate planner cup there so that is really really cute from emma and leone sorry emmy and leone first i said emily and then i said emma i'm the worst okay then the next thing that we have here i feel like this sub box goes on forever in a good way <laughs> i thought i should correct that because it's not a bad thing like it just feels like there's lots and lots and lots in here to explore and play with and have fun with apparently this next one i can't open see what having no nails does to you can't open anything My neighbours are all like doing stuff to their yards today and it is so noisy. Okay, so again, we have some more goodies from the gorgeous, pretty planner studio store. Okay, so I have a fun little code there, which is awesome. And then we just get this cute little freebie. I think I'm going to have to focus again now. Yep. So you have this cute little freebie that says, thank you for shopping at Pretty Planner Studio. We would love you to share your goodies on social media. Don't forget to tag us at Pretty Planner Studio. Why can I not remember? I think Pretty Planner Studio just rebranded, previously known as China Doll, China Doll Stickers, China Doll Boutique, something like that. Because I think the last order that I did with them, they were under China Doll, not Pretty Planner Studio so that's your little like business card i guess and then we actually get another vinyl decal but this one is obviously much bigger so again i'm not sure it looks like a hollow like a lilac hollow in my opinion but i don't know i don't know it is really cute but this one is obviously much bigger than the last one and again you'll see what it so like it just looks like silver regular hollow there first glance it looks like purple and then like from another angle it looks like there's like blue undertones that is really fun i'm actually really excited to have some vinyl decals like i said no idea what i'm going to do with them or how i'm going to use them yet but we'll get there and then you get some little instructions on how to actually apply your vinyl um so it just goes through the steps of cleaning the surface preparing the decal for application peeling the white backing off positioning the decal into the place you want it to be and rubbing it firmly and slowly peeling back the clear transfer tape to do that but obviously it's in a lot more detail so if you are getting this sub box or you've not used vinyl before definitely read the instructions because i know that someone like me would think hey i can do this and then i really can't <laughs> And then finally, the last thing in this subscription box, full of so many wonderful goodies, is this item here that, again, is so well packaged that I can't even open it. Ah, okay, there we go. So that part's open. Now I'll open this part. Okay, and this is the last item that we have here. Ah, that's a cute little... It's a mini kit. So we have a cute little mini kit here, and this has been provided by Live, Love, and Craft. So again, very coffee winter vibe. So you've got 
your date headers on the side there they're really cool it actually reminds me of kind of like a mosaic tile like it's that i don't know if it's the right thing i think it's like bohemian is it bohemian i don't know but they're like i don't know i i feel like i'm doing so well describing it. it's like those like intricate mosaic kind of you see it in like spanish homes i don't know if anyone knows what i'm talking about like they're like a tile and they can be like white with like blue flower type settings or they can have like geometric patterns or they can have non-geometric patterns and they just look really really cool i don't know what it's called though i hope someone knows what i'm talking about anyway um you've then got like a decorative like washi strip down the bottom here you've got some so four build you trackers on the side here and then you've got six functional boxes all with the clip art in back so you've got like a little coffee cup there with a the planner you've got the girl with her planner a girl with her iced coffee there you've got some perfume some florals and some books some florals and then a cute little girl holding her rose there the next page is the full box page which of course we need for a kit um, they also have the art in the background, so they're not pushed forward. They're like transparent and disappear into the background. Um, and again, all around that same, like it's very sort of like fashionista, coffee, fashion girl-esque. I think I just made up that description. <laughs> um, but again, you've got some of those similar things going on. So you've got the girl with her planner, you've got the planner, You've got the books and the perfume and the florals. You've got the coffee cup, the iced coffee cup. You've then got a hot coffee cup that says Girl Boss. You've got a bag of florals. And then you've got some like fashion girl icons there. So you've got some shoes, some glasses and a purse. And again, they are in those like muted neutral tones. So you've got your greys, your blues, your browns. Very, very neutral. And then apparently I have it backwards for some reason. But the last page of the mini kit, you have some more functional type items. So you've got your bottom washi, which is like a floral washi. You've got lots and lots of quarter boxes. And again, you've got that beautiful clip art in the back there. Now, the only issue that I would have with this mini kit is firstly, I don't actually use mini kits because there is not enough functional items for me in a mini kit. I'm sure that if I go onto the Live, Love and Craft website, I could either buy like additionals of this page or the quarter box page and make it work itself into a full kit. I could probably do that. I've done that before or bring in like other functional boxes that are in like a neutral palette um, or colorway. I've got a lot of Stella Bo Sticky Co and quarter boxes and half boxes that would fit this colorway. So I could probably do it that way um but there's also like no headers or little things or anything like that so this alone i would definitely have to bring a lot more in i mean that's fine the fact that you're getting a mini kit or a kit in the sub box is fantastic and i know that a lot of people particularly when they use tns and things like that which i guess this is probably well aimed at it would work perfectly because you've got acetate you've got decorative items like you have an entire setup there um i mean again you could probably bring these items in like based on the colors just even to fill some space and make it more decorative you could like there's a whole bunch of things you could do to make it work like you could bring in literally everything from here you know like you could use your decorative stickers to beef it up a bit you could bring in some of the functional lime and mortar stuff um you've got some decorative stuff there just to fill in some more space at the back like all of the colors work and you've got lots of stuff in this sub box to make it work but i guess that would be the only downfall for myself is that for my planner style i don't think it would work so i don't know that i would necessarily be willing to purchase the box based on the fact that i'm a no white space planner again i could do it like this box is like i'm so impressed by this box um i could definitely you know with a a little bit of like moving around and a little bit of like pulling things from here and there i could definitely make it work and turn it into a spread um that i could use in my planner um 
But I don't know. I have. I guess my question to Sarah would be about this sub box. Do you get, is it a mystery sub box or do you actually get a hint as to what the subscription box will be each month? So like if I go on to the website for the next purchase, so when the next box goes on sale on the 30th of this month, if I go onto the website, is it going to give me a sneak peek as to the description of the box? Is it going to give me an idea of what clip art or what the theme is or is it like a surprise every month um because that that probably would determine for me whether or not i'd um purchase a subscription box because i always like to know what i'm getting in my sub box but otherwise like honestly guys if you haven't checked it out already definitely go and check out oggy bear you get so many goodies in this sub box. Like this is just a portion of them. I don't even have the acetate there yet or the additional die cuts and things that I got from Pretty Planner Studio. That's just a glimpse of like the stickers side of it. Um, so it was a really, really fun box to open. If no other box, this was the perfect box for me because I adore winter and I'm coffee obsessed. Well, no, better description. I am coffee dependent. Um, definitely the right box for myself. The paper, the stickers, the store selection is amazing. Everything ties together so nicely. And there is such a variety of like, you know, you've got some washi tape, you've got some foiled items, like everything, the colorway, like even the washi tape is perfectly colored to go with all of the art that's been featured in the box. It's just... Sarah, props to you because it is so well curated and the variety of stores, I just, I'm honestly blown away. That is my review. <laughs> I am honestly blown away. <laughs> so remembering guys, if you are interested in this box, I'm going to have to put this video up tonight, I think, just so that you guys have the time because the boxes are only on sale until tomorrow at this point, I believe. I don't know if it carries over until the next business day because there's a public holiday i'm not sure um but if you are interested in this box i believe it is only on sale until tomorrow um and then it will ship out on the 25th of this month so that you will have it in time for july and then so on and so forth if you only want to try a singular box you're only paying 44.95 including track shipping and i mean track shipping alone can vary anywhere from ten dollars to fifteen dollars to more depending on the area you are in so the fact that you're paying $44.95, including track postage, for all of this, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, and yeah, I just, overall, I think this is a wonderful box. Um, if you haven't, please go and check out Sarah's store. If you're interested, just try one box. Try one box, you may fall in love, and then before you know it, you're getting a box every month. Alternatively, if you just want to bite the bullet and go and pay the six month subscription up front you're going to be saving yourself ten dollars a box um and it's just i think it's well and truly worth the money look at all of the stores you're supporting they're all small businesses you know you're supporting not only sarah's store by buying the subscription box but all of these stores as well and i think i'm just jabbering on and repeating myself in different ways now so i'm going to leave it here if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more of these videos, definitely let me know because this was really wonderful to film. It was full of surprises and wonderful gifts and I just adore it. Thank you again, Sarah, for this wonderful opportunity. And thank you to Vicky from Planet Goddess Studio for putting my name in the hat, so to speak, <laughs> to be able to do this review. I really, really enjoyed unboxing this subscription. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going now. I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye for now.